Okay, love bugs. So I know I've been like my birthday, my birthday, my birthday. It is September. My birthday is next week and I've been deciding what I want to do, how I want to do my hair. I'm turning the big 35. So you guys know I'm a super duper introvert. So I'm probably not going to be too social. It's going to be me and my family as always. But I do want to look cute and do some birthday photos. And I think I found the look. Now, typically I would choose something a lot more toned down in color. I would go for a natural black or a natural brown color. But I mean, 35 is a big year and I think I can pull this one off thinking of getting a hotel suite and then like doing like the big t-shirt vibe or just something really cute and sexy like some pajamas and doing a little selfie photo shoot I think this one will look cute with the little birthday cake let me know what you guys think nonetheless I just went ahead and installed this beauty from start to finish I recorded the entire thing for you guys to follow along so you'll get the entire lace pronto install you'll get how I tinted the lace and did the baby hair and bonded her down without any glue and then you also get the layers that I cut into it this one was like um you know mainly one length and I went ahead and cut some beautiful layers added some beautiful curls to it for a lot of va va voom now she did already come with a nice curl to her but I went ahead and turned it up a notch and I am very proud I'm not gonna keep touching it because you guys know me I'll touch it until I have to retouch it up and yeah I'm gonna be using this curling iron here from hot tools I'll have it in the description box for you guys if you want to purchase and follow along and yeah we're gonna be using one of these babies right here that I got from Amazon to kind of like cut our layers they came out super fire so let me go so I can take me some cute pictures and get ready for my daughter's birthday tomorrow happy birthday Dominic and without further ado let's go ahead and get right into the video okay love bugs let's get right into it this gorgeous gorgeous girl came super beautiful with the curls and this is also a look at the inside construction of the cap I even went ahead and flipped her inside out so you can really get a good look at how well this one was constructed it did come with section for you to add the adjustable elastic band as well as clips which they did provide and i'll show at the end of the video here is a look at the texture and the full length of the hair this one is a highlight color 12 613 long body wave mixed brown and blonde colored ombre lace front wig she did come as a 13 by 4 lace wig and then she also has an option to come as straight or body wave but as i mentioned i do have the body wave texture which is going to be great to help the wig curl really 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 good here I'm just cutting off the excess lace around the ears. We are going to set her as a center part. And as you've seen previously, I was sure to cover any tracks behind. It's always important that you get your maximum amount of parting space, but also be sure that you don't push your parting so far back that you are showing or exposing the tracks behind. We also did the dynamic duo on this one. Wax stick paired with an electric hot comb is the perfect way to cancel out any lumps or bumps around the lace having it super flat and sleek is going to give you a very good professional salon finish also I'm going to pull the hairline back so that we can begin to cut off the excess lace but before we do I did go ahead and tint the parting I started off with a cream foundation in a darker shade um it appeared to be just a little bit too dark so we went lighter and a little bit more yellow tone with the Too Faced concealer this is important because with natural brown hair i feel like the lace always is easy to conceal but when you go blonde or even just super super light brown sometimes it'll give you a really red tone very very easy and we definitely don't want that so kind of do a spot test before you apply your product to make sure that the product is a perfect match because what you use typically may not work on a blonde or again light brown wig now we are proceeding to bond the wig down i did cut up all of the excess lace first now i am working in sections i did the center first and once it got nice and dry we are doing each side one at a time i like to spray a non-glue adhesive work the product into the lace and if it doesn't feel like it's like juicy enough i'll go in and add a second coat and as you guys can see it does come up a little bit white because i made sure to add extra products so that the lace would really really adhere and i will be able to cancel that out without having to like wipe it down or remove it 
Easily, I'm going to do the dynamic duo along the hairline. And this literally is going to be step one to go ahead and cancel out any like white cast that you see from bonding the wig down. I went ahead and did baby hair with this one. You guys know I prefer baby hair in general, but especially with my lighter color wigs, I just feel like whenever you do like red or auburn or, you know, brown or blonde, it just looks like a Barbie doll wig in general. It doesn't matter if you are, you know, light skin, dark skin. It doesn't matter to me in person if i see you and you have on a wig and it's just buzzed down middle part no baby hair or nothing no kind of frizz fringe nothing going on in the hairline a lot of the times it looks unnatural and i always think about jt when she was at that award show arrogant tay slayed her hair and on social media it looks so amazing but on that red carpet with them high definition cameras no baby hair it looked a hot mess just saying here I am just cutting off the excess lace. The hairline is going down and setting and melting with the melt belt. Melt belts are a key step, even if you already feel like your hairline is slayed. At that melt belt, while you proceed to do extra steps or like do your makeup or, you know, cook clean and it definitely will get your lace super snatched here i am just cutting layers you guys know i love the farrah fawcett look i love a fringe bang and i've been practicing a lot more and being a little bit more intentional in getting the curls correct which is why i opted for a body wave option just in general a lot of the times i just personally feel like texture hair will hold a curl even better and much longer than like silky straight hair gotta have a bev today i am using a coke zero or drinking a coke zero rather which has been my current favorite not the best for you but you know it gets the job done here i just curled all of the hair on one side and then i just added a little bit of that same product i used as adhesive as a hairspray for a hold i did the opposite side off camera and i'm just using my fingers to pull the curls apart i still want them to set more and form you know more so i don't want to go in with an abrasive comb or brush that is going to you know pull the curls out a little bit too much and then we're just going to tint the lace along the hairline with their foundation powder and voila we got magic okay we are done with the look i of course tried to just do a little bit of curls and i succeeded i love them curls are really easy now to me that i just learned how to hold the freaking curling iron now i used to have the biggest issue uh oh with using a large curling iron you go through you do all these curls you put a heat protectant you put holding spray i could even pin them down and then by the time i take everything down after all that hard baby it'd be nothing i have learned and i think have mastered how to get my curls beautifully really quickly i wanted to show you the hair line a little bit as well as the parting close up the baby hair works and it looks beautiful i know some people don't like it but it looks better and more natural to me like this than without because without i feel like even if the lace is beautiful and it's perfectly tinted even if it's plucked to perfection it still just gives barbie hair vibes to me maybe i'm just stuck in my ways with that inside of my bag they did include some stuff for me so i showed you guys the inside construction of the cap and there is like slime to put in an elastic band um, and this is the elastic band here they also have like um, two it looks like two black combs that you can sew in and then they also included some super tape by true tape and this is basically like a wig tape style glue so I didn't use any of this because I knew I was gonna bond the wig down so I didn't need the elastic band if you're trying to wear it glueless or just get a ex little extra support for like for example it's hot right now so if you glue your wig down or you do a glueless install and you go out into the heat and you're out all day there's a possibility it might lift you kind of want to have that wig ba band in there to keep it at least down and not fly off of your head and then you can also see inside the wig there was no combs lately I like that more I don't use the glue so I probably wouldn't use the tape but i'm happy to have it just in case i want to experiment especially when it comes to travel and then of course they did include more goodies in this little pink mesh bag which they always do so for this bag i do have a pack of hd wig caps i can't wait till they bring out 
those in color. I would like to see those in a chocolate brown for my skin or at least not like a medium brown. A pack of eyelashes, a mint color edge brush, melt belt, Arabella hair all over it. And then this little hair pin and it's shaped like scissors. I have a few of these and it's just like a bobby pin style opposed to like the clippy style. And you can just cutely, you know, slide it in your hair somehow, some way. And you know, it's just a cute little attention to detail. I love the way I tinted the lace on this one. A lot of the times you have to be careful with blonde hair because it can be very easily come out too orange or too yellow and while it does have like a warm tone to it it's not too anything it's perfect in my opinion as well as the hairline which you know it came out perfectly so I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go so I can go ahead and take some pictures and get prepared for my daughter's birthday for tomorrow be sure to check this one out there is a direct link in the description box thank you guys so much for watching and as always I'll see you in the next one smooches